Okay, ready? Let's get you down your feather. Move in a bit. Ready? One, two, three, two. What's good to know your family? Welcome back to the vlog. But today we're gonna do a dad tag. Yes, guys. So today we're doing a tag, a tag, a dad and daughter tag. Alright, guys. So we're gonna get the video started. So start the intro. Let's go. <laughs> Miss B's and Sapphire post up the video here. Did a mother and daughter tag. Today we're gonna do it. As I say, mother and father, but daughter and father tag. Yay! Because it's in a few days here in Australia, it's gonna be Father's Day! Yay! Dan's got a few questions that she's pulled out. I'm not sure we haven't really found. Have you found anyone on uh, YouTube that's done this? Um hmm. Not much people. We see a lot of mother daughter like um, the one that Miss B and Sapphire done, but not many of these videos, eh? Yeah. yeah. But guys, this is Diamond. This is my daughter Diamond. She's the oldest, well, second oldest besides Onyx, um, who's our baby angel, and then Diamond and then Sapphire. So Diamond is very, very shy. So I try and get her to do videos. Don't try and force her, but at the same time, uh, she did want to do this for Father's Day. So let's do this, guys. So I picked out some random questions that I wanted to ask Dad, and Dad has no idea what they are. So, yeah. First time I'm hearing these questions, guys. The first question is, what is your fondest memory with me? Fondest memory with Diamond. My fondest memory is when Diamond was born. Uh, because it took us a long time to conceive and actually go through the whole pregnancy uh, when Diamond came out the fondest actually the fondest memory is when I pushed Diamond out of after she was born because I had to miss beat had to have a Caesar I was pushing her out with pop um, to my sister and my sister-in-law and mum and my other mum and when I brought her out this is all I could say that I was like oh my gosh she's so big she looks like she's four months old the most gorgeous baby and we're truly blessed to have a beautiful dog like this. She's so quiet, really humble girl. I was the biggest baby until Sapphire. Yeah, she was the biggest baby. Diamond was about 10 or 11 pounds and Sapphire was almost 14. So don't forget to go and watch that other video because she was a very big baby. Okay, the second question is how did you find out I was a girl? Like did you do a gender reveal or did you just get surprised. Well back then we didn't have gender reveals and I think I really wanted to know so we asked the doctor if uh, Diamond was a girl or had a little little wizzy. That, that's how we found out through the ultrasounds. Okay the third question is what is your most favorite thing about being a dad? The most favorite thing about being a dad? I think it's nurturing and um, seeing my kids grow up is the most favorite thing about being a dad but also coming home from a really really busy day and you know you've probably had a shit day or you know you've just had the longest conversation and you're just worn out but coming home to my kids every single day is the most rewarding fourth question is what would you describe me in three words just three not a whole paragraph like mum did. <laughs> Three words. So diamond is. So can I do diamond is? Yeah. Diamond is beautiful. Three words, guys. Did you think she's pretty? <laughs> Our fifth question is, how did you find out mum was pregnant with me? How did we find out? Oh. How do we find out she was pregnant? 
just like anybody else, I think we did a pregnancy test. Um, and Brendan does get pretty sick when um, she's fallen pregnant and also miss her monthlies. But I think it was a pregnancy test we found out. And we're really, really, really excited. I remember that when um, Brenda, but it was scary at the same time. But such a blessing. Our sixth question is, in what do you, what do you think we have in most different from each other? Diamond and I are very close. Um, and she was like my little baby. Nobody was allowed to touch her. Nobody was allowed to take her. Diamond just recently, maybe in the last few years, was allowed to sleep over her friend's house or even her cousin's house. Um, so I was very protective of Diamond, but because Diamond's so quiet as well. The difference is, I'm very verbal, so I like to talk a lot, like Sapphire, huh? but um, Diamond's very quiet. Mm -hmm. So that's the difference. Okay. And what do we have most common about? Most common. Oh, we've got a few things that we've got most common, but... Um, wow. You know what? That's a really, really hard one because Diamond is so much more like her mum. Hmm? She's very quiet and very humble and I'm the but uh, what we have in common what we have in common I would say that we would do anything for anyone mm -hmm. hey yeah. Diamond does anything for her friends and she surrounds herself uh, around a lot of friends as well and you know I know that she'll do anything for her friends and I'm the same as well I'll give my last $10 day. just like her this is mostly about all of us three kids. Would you have another baby? If so, would you carry on the gemstone theme of their names? Right, yep, so if you don't know if it's your first time, if you want to know what Diamond is talking about, the gemstone theme. So we have Onyx, which is our oldest son who's passed away in heaven. God bless you, son. And then we had Diamond, and then we have Sapphire. Uh, reason being is because Brenda absolutely loves gemstones. Would we have another baby? Yeah, you know what? We would love to have another baby. And a lot of my sisters, um, like Dina, shout out to Dina and Ruffy, uh, back in Sydney, my baby sister, who has bloody 25,000 kids. Um, every time they have a baby, we're like, can we have your baby? Can we have your baby? <laughs> and like Beauty too, we're like, can we have Onyx? <laughs> but yeah, we would love to have another baby. And yes, we have discussed this before. If we were to have another baby, or if we were to adopt another baby, hint, hint guys, we would call him or her Topaz. So, yes, we would continue on the gemstones, because they are very precious to us. So, I have run out of questions. Ah! So, is that all the questions they have for me? Yes. So, as most of you Australian viewers, this weekend on Sunday is a very special day for the fathers. It is Father's Day! Yay! Thank you, Dad, for being the best father in the whole entire world. And also, thank you to all the fathers. To all of our subscribers at home, we wish you the most happiest Father's Day with your father. And we hope you spend a great time on Sunday with them. Yeah, definitely. This Sunday, as Diamond has said, is very special for fathers here in Australia. I'm not sure if it's Father's Day anywhere in America or Europe or anywhere where you're watching from. Let us know. Comment down below, guys, when it's Father's Day for you guys. But it's always Father's Day. It's the first Sunday of every September. To those who have lost fathers, hope you celebrate the love and the care that your father has, um, has shared with you throughout the years. And rest in love for all the fathers that have passed away. But to all the fathers all over the world, we wish you a happy Father's Day from us, Tenadia family. Thank you for watching. As you guys know, we are Polytroopers. If you don't know what Polytroopers is, what do you have to do? All you have to search is hashtag Polytube. Yes, definitely. Hashtag Polytube. And you will find out who is a Polytuber. And that's Islanders and Kiwis all over the world. Not only New Zealand, <laughs> Australia, Samoa, Tonga, Fiji, uh, Tukaloa. Not only those countries. We are everywhere guys and on this platform we are sharing our lives and sharing our stories and our culture with you. So I hope you enjoy guys and please go and subscribe to all the Polytubers. And most of all, we wish all the Polytube fathers out there a very happy Father's Day and wish you guys more blessings on this special day celebrated all over Australia. Alright guys, so... 
I know my daughter died. Uh, is hardly on YouTube because, well, she watches a lot of YouTube on our YouTube channel because she's very shy and very quiet. But please go and watch her other video where she explains how, how she was bullied but also how she overcome that at the same time, all right? So you can get over anything, guys. Anything with the love and support of your parents but most of all, the connection that you have in family, all right? So, David, thank you very much for sitting down with me giving me your free time. Spend it on this Father's Day video.